Hey everybody, welcome to the Infinite Regression. It's yet another game review for me today. Uh, feeling much better. Ate some food. That's, that's new. I wanted it. I wanted food, so... I think the puke in my guts out part is done and over with. Ha, huh, what a day. Anyway, exciting, fun times. Let's play video games. Okay. We are now on this one called Cave Blazers. Uh, which my previous organization tells me is a roguelike. That is literally all I know about this game. I did pay money for it, but I'm fairly certain that I got it on the cheap. Okay, I swear to God. Um, if it is... Aha! Okay. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Let's let's blaze some caves. All right. Yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure. Ooh, and the controller works immediately. As cubes also. Yeah, I'm ashamed of myself that I've fallen into a hole of like watching meme type videos on the YouTubes. I should spend my time in better ways. Like literally, playing video games is better. Not remotely better, but you know. Dingus. Dingus and Ingus. Uh anyway, let's let's do a thing. Let's uh, go to the play. The fact that there's leaderboards um makes me think that, you know, this is one of those like play, die, play again. Like I I We'll sh we shall see. Legend spoke of this place. A remote cave, which is said to hold unimaginable power. Some say the cave leads to a better life, while others insist you will find nothing but death. Wait a minute. Th that seems awfully similar to Spelunky. <laughs> like, am I wrong? Am I, am I wrong? Please correct me if I'm wrong. Is this Spelunky? Okay, that's my, that's my dingus. Oh, hello. Uh, that's gonna be for selecting things at some point. Uh, all right. All we know now, yeah. A to jump, hold it to jump higher. Standard D. Y to toggle inventory. RB to pick up items. Can I pick up this bell? <gasps> Wait. Oh, I have played this before. That's why it seems familiar. I played this on the Vita. Hello, kitty. You are very tall. I'm proud of you for being able to sniff my elbows. <laughs> None survive. So what makes you different, kid? <laughs> At least brought weapons with you? Uh, X to melee attack. Rusty old blade, is that it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. And a bow! Won't be enough. You will fail, just like the rest of them. I will, too. You will die. <laughs> Thanks, old timer, for your dingus stories. I want to shoot you in the face. I shoot you? I know I can't. He takes no damage. What do you think you're doing? This is my pile of junks. Okay, there's a custom mode. There's a perks outfitter. Okay. So, like, obviously, um... Wait. I can't get up there. Haha, a bunch of rags. I did it. I got the olive robe. I got the brown dishiki. I got the red suspenders. I got the gray headband of power. Anyway. Yes. Anyway, let's do it. So we go inside. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, down there. I need your help. You I love it when video games have nonsense talk, like when the characters will have things that they're obviously saying. See those slimes? Yes, I can't miss them. They're giving me a real hard time. I'm pretty beaten up. That's, yeah, because you have blood dripping out of your face. That's what your sprite looks like, a drippy blood faced man. Hey, great job. Hey, listen. I found these boots. They're a little large for me. I've always had pretty tiny feet. But hey, it's not the size matters, right? You, you take them. Let's stick together, eh? Uh, sure, stranger. We're gonna be best of pals. Best of buckaroonies. He's, uh, I will find his corpse in no time. Great. Get crated on. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, that fool died. Yeah, I love how some of the things you don't have to do anything to get, but then other things you definitely do. Bombs, ether boots. Uh, oh, jeez. Ah, got it. Yeah, that's right. You could take damage even while in menu. That's that's a fun thing. Oh, am I wearing my ether boots? I forgot what they do because I just equip it. Increase your movement speed for three seconds. Okay. So glad I have them. Glad am I. Glad I say glad. Yay. That is the power of the ranged weapon. Ascension orb. What does that do, pray tell? I'm I'm asking rhetorically. Let's see. Oh, what does this do? Oh, I should definitely have that equipped. Uh, ascension field where thrown lifting entities with genetic field. Throw using your range controls. Okay. Seems like a one-time use kind of a dingus. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come at me, bro. for range damage. Or where would we be without it? I got an arcane box. Is it full of arcane mysteries? Arcane knowledge? The arcaneries of the ancients? Oh, some of the bench. I did not mean to be down here already. Uh, come on. Whoa! Wait 10 seconds before attacking. <laughs> okay, I am clearly damaged. And I need to... Like, I left things up there. Oh, wait. I don't realize what I did. Clearly, obviously. Oh, shoot! Ten damage of the Mega Champion, and 
then I dropped a re- Ow! Come on! Silvery tart, that seems like maybe it'll help me in the HP department. Let's find out. Eat. Did I eat it? Yeah, no, I've got 66 out of 110 health. Anyway, regardless. Uh, that looks like... Ah! So, yeah, some of the... Fire sword is pretty lit. <laughs> oh, hilarity. Come at me, Joseph. Hello, I have a ranged damage. I know. Five to seven, that's not much compared to my S word, but you know what? We're, we'll keep it. Why Why would we not keep it? Loot is loot, and we are in the business of looting. The old man was like, oh, you're not gonna loot. Uh, watch me now, old man. I'm looting the crap out of this loot. Tell me I'm gonna die. You the one whose mortality is questionable. Try this. It's a stupid move. Oh, see, that's why it's stupid. It came up short. Anyway, regardless, I think we gotta go through the door. Yes, obviously, eat an apple. Now I got 26 health. Do I have any other consumables? I do not. Uh, cause. Yes, I, I understand. Anyway, so, let's. Cause random of, well, I don't know. It was Temple approach, level two. Let's uh Aha, uh -huh. yes, and here's another fun thing is that you get journal entries. You, you find out things about all your enemies as you go. Yeah, it's kind of like the many games in there. 
bestiary. Ruby ring. Ooh, orange potion. Never don't take orange potion. It's consumable. Let's consume it. Aha! <laughs> It has been consumed. Oh, God. Okay, come knock me, Genghis. Oh. Wait, I can walk across spikes, I just can't step on them. I can't, like, fall on them. Clearly. Okay. That, that's good information to have. Twofold blessing. Yeah, of course. Ooh, 20% chance of firing an additional arrow. Oh. Okay, spiked. Time to find out what happens to you. What? Chicken? Yes, give me chicken. For low, I need their deliciosities. They, they did nothing. Okay, so that cost me some gold, but then I got some sweet, sweet health, which, like, was so very needed. Oh, yeah, another adventure. Yeah, the first guy did not last very long. You got... Oh, 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 <laughs> did, did you see that save? My goodness. Okay, bullseye, blessing of thorns, blessing of kings. Uh, let's do bullseye. That seems fun. Increased range damage by one every hit. Okay. Uh -huh. That means the more I hit, the more damage my hits do when I'm doing range damage. Let's find out what altars are about. I bet if I leave a thing on there that it will bless me in some way. Hold up. Journal. Uh, da, 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 da. Miscellaneous. Health Shrine. Altar. Uh, these large just to have power to combine two items to create a massively super... Oh. Oh, hey now. Two identical items placed on the surface and works with most weapons along with... Okay, okay. So, when it says superior... I... When it, okay. Um... Oh, ho, ho. Get furied on, my friend. Okay. Um... 
So, is it items of a superior type or of a similar type? Or do they have to be? I don't know how to put things down. Though. I don't know how to like. Wait, where's my? Oh, that's that's the thing. That's my. Oh, right, 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 right. right, right, right. But like, how do I put? I, I'm, you know what? I'll watch this. That's gonna increase luck. I'm sure. What are you doing, Dingus? Hey, talk to me, you weirdo. Yeah. He, he's being strange. He's being strange and stranger. Oh. Ooh, poison sword. Yes, yes indeed. Fifteen chance to fifteen percent beyond fire. Fifteen to, tar to poison. Okay. So the the real question is, what's the likelihood of creating? Okay. Hey, Dingus, do you talk? He does not. He's the strong silent type. Let's see. Right button me. Okay. Oh, this seems bostly. Oh. <laughs> the obsidian plated keyboard. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Get the freak out of my. It, but it's wrecking me though. I'm down to like 22. Yeah, let's. God. Ah, and death. Game over. Progress. Partial. Partial progress. Unlock the warlock's hat. Sweet. Okay, continue. Progress toward the next thing. A <laughs> brown top hat. So. I've sort of made a lot of progress. Archer perk. Oh, okay. Alright. Challenge complete unlocked. Okay. So I unlocked some things. What are you looking for? Now? You won't find it. Okay. So, um, I'm guessing, like, all of my ding- wait, no, all of my dingus dungarees and whatnots are over there. Oh, outfitter. That's right, hats. Because I have these things, world's hat. I don't know what the things do do I have. Oh, I think it's just, you know, it's standard. Let's wear a brown top hat. And let's uh, not worry about hair. Frizzy fro. Facial hair. Mustache. Goatee. Short beard. Balbo. Full beard. Long beard. Handlebar. Mutton chops. Mystic beard. Uh... That makes me look like Lemmy, so how can I not have that hair tint? Ginger, olive, verdant, white, light gray, dark gray. Um, I, I think that is the winner right there. But only a ginger can call another ginger ginger. Let's see. Oh, there's a lot of unlocks. Wow, that's red suspenders. Wait, 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 wait. I have dashikis. Let's definitely be wearing dashikis. Oh, and blue denims, like of course. All right. A uh, daily run. Give us this day our daily run. I didn't even look at what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Just, you know. Aha! Oh, don't 
die, dingus. Like, come on. Murder, death, kill. Murder, death, kill. Ah! Give me this spiked stick. Give me this preserved egg. Wait, is that a water line? Am I under water? Black potion. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh. I think I'm supposed to stay in place. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously. Wow, dingus. Yeah, clearly. I didn't think I should, but then I did, like an idiot. And now I'm basically dead. Oh. say they're doing better than me, but like, uh, maybe not as much. Maybe not as much. Oh, crap. I do not have a lot of, oh, ow. And, and now death. Let's see if we progressed more. A little bit, a little bit. Let, let's see, let's look at the leaderboards. My score, not good. <laughs> Uh, oh, number 23, but like how many people were playing on the Steam servers today? Like, my score is 146, number 16 is 560, this is like a, a gash grunt right there. The, they probably died immediately, so like, anyway, continue. Alright. Well, I, I see, I remember playing this game before, it is a lot of fun. Let's exit. Cave Blazers. Good times. All right, let me pause it and put a score on it. All right, so Cave Blazers. It was a game, and we played it. We played it with our, you know, controller. We used thumbs. I was all thumbs with this game. I'm going to be perfectly honest. All thumbs. Anyway, sometimes fingers. Can't lie to you, I did use my fingers for some of the buttons. Anyway, uh, I liked it. I really like Cave Blazers. I forgot that I had it on, like, I have it on something else. I think it's the Vita. I have it on, I definitely have it on another, I, I have it on a handheld of some sort. Like, yeah. Hold up. I hate being a dingus uh, reviewer who doesn't know what things are on. Um... Cave Blazers. Nope. Let's see. Cave Blazers. Plat platforms. Let's see what it came out on. Cave Blazers together. On the Cave Blazers. Okay. Let's see. We'll go to the official website of the Cave Blazers, I think. Because I know it's on Steam, obviously. But, um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Nintendo Switch. Microsoft. Microsoft. What? Is that all it's on? Because I've definitely... I've played it... I mean, I might have it on the Switch. I might. <laughs> it's entirely possible. <clears throat> anyway. As I belch into the camera. Oh, you take... Take your sweet time, sweet cheeks. It's not like I'm recording a video. That's right. I objectify websites, and I call them sweet cheeks. Anyway, uh, it's a fun game. It's fun. It's one of the better, like, uh, you know, cave-dwelling 
um, roguelike type side scrolly platformy you know I mean there are actually quite a few of those and it's it's one of the best ones I've ever played and I've played a few anyway so yeah here's my final score final score for cave blazers nine out of a possible nine copies of Montezuma's Revenge Montezuma's Revenge not a roguelike because obviously that style of game like the game Rogue may have been invented at that point, but I cannot guarantee that that is true. Um, yeah, Panama Joe is a f super fun game. You just go around all the multiple levels. Monster Zuvima's Revenge was like the best possible... Um, like, you remember Pitfall. Monster Zuvima's Revenge was like Pitfall, but even more complex and even better. Um, and it's super fun. And so, like, just some of the feel of uh, Cave Blazers reminded me of Montezuma's Revenge, which is a very good thing. It's a fun game from back in the day. Look, for Atari computers and those other ones that we don't talk about. We don't talk about them. Because Atari was everything when I was growing up. We were an Atari family. It's funny because, like, I'm still loyal to Atari to this day and will not, uh, like, I've had multiple opportunities to buy a Commodore 64. I see my Atari 800 XL. I'm pointing at with my fingers. See me pointing? Exactly. You don't. But, I mean, I have the original boxes for the Atari itself. Uh, and for its disk drive. And I used to have the cassette drive, but then I realized, like, I don't want to freaking load games off of cassette. Like, yes, it's a cool thing to have. And so I sold I sold the cassette drive and all of my cassettes to a friend of mine who uh, was also an Atari nerd. It was Tom Skeen. Do you remember Tom Skeen? My wife remembers Tom Skeen. Uh, he was a huge dorkalpus who was also, like... He just had a had a certain a, a certain vibe about him. He just woke up one day and was like, "Oh, I I am an sexy beast," and like all of the girls woke up to his flair all at the same time and were like, "Oh, hey now." <laughs> anyway, but he also liked Atari home computers. Anyway, uh, good dude. Anyway. But yeah, that's where my cassette drive is now. But I had that with the box and multiple cassettes, and I sold it to him, get this, for $30. And I don't regret it, because I know it went to a happy home. That is a steal on an Atari uh, cassette drive, 8-bit cassette drive, with multiple, like, not copied tapes, but, like, the actual original article uh, programs on cassette, which... That entire thing is very old sentence. But yeah. Uh, is So when I was talking to my dad, like, because I'm still all in on Atari uh, 100%. And um, yeah, it is it is my favorite that I love that I own that uh, particular home computer that I had as a child. And the, the first thing I learned to program on, many, many happy memories on that. And the funny thing, I was talking to my dad, and I was like, yeah, totally. Like, So what was the deciding factor for us being an Atari family? Because we were like just an Atari family. That's, we had Atari computers. I remember we had our Atari 800 XL forever. And um, even when we started going PC, my grandmama had an Atari ST, if you remember those. Like, man, I wish I had an Atari ST. Love, can I clutter up this desk with an Atari ST? She gave me a look. <laughs> anyway, regardless, regardless, I know my limits. It was a silly question. I've, yeah, anyway, I own 90% of the clutter in this house. <sighs> anyway, she's a very patient woman, it's true, if you must know. Anyway, but I was asking my dad about it, and he's like, well, the Atari came out first, and we were going to buy a computer. <laughs> like, 
like it was pretty much came down to like uh they went to the store that's the one the store had that's the one they bought and like that my entire life was set on a path of like oh i don't talk about commodore <laughs> like i don't i don't like to acknowledge it like look if 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 pressed if pressed i will admit that the specs on the Commodore were better than they were on the Atari, but, but, uh, and you did not hear me say that, uh, I love my Atari so much. <laughs> like, and it's stupid that I still have brand loyalty all these years later, and that my, my heart sings when I see the Atari logo on modern games, even though, like, the Atari that made the games that I love has been dead forever. It has been bought and sold a bajillion times. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just true. Anyway, but don't forget, Montezuma's Revenge, great game, and it is the standard by which I am grading uh, Cave Blazers, which is also a great game. Give it a 9 out of 9, because what would you do to make it better? Like, it's got a lot of charm, a lot of character. It's uh, replayability, because it has, you know, different game modes. It's got uh, tons of unlockables. Is It has, um, you know, the fact that it's roguelike, that it has uh, procedurally generated levels. So no two playthroughs are ever going to be exactly the same. Like, uh, yeah, that's what more do you want what more do you want in a game like it is perfectly exactly what it was supposed to be and i like it so nine out of nine montezuma's revenges indeed yeah my wife's singing a, a song by the Rizillos. remember the Rizillos? okay don't get me reminiscing on uh punk bands that did better and were remembered more fondly in the UK than they were in America, but should be. I'm talking specifically about the Rosillos and the Undertones. Go look up both of those bands and get back to me on that. They're both fantastic. Anyway, people, have a lovely rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.